AI translating, that's something that's been heavily invested in really recently in the Japanese market, specifically with manga, and it looks like they're taking it even further. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Idol, and yes, if you hadn't heard, Goku's voice actress voiced to be converted to AI for non-acting projects in Japanese... And English. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what sort of nonsense is this? Now, this is a real interesting turn of events, if you ask me. Because, first of all, Masuka Nozawa, my girl. Masuka Nozawa is my Goku. Get the hell out of here with the Sean Shimmels. First of all, Sean Shimmel ain't even the best English Goku. Peter Klamek is. But that's neither here nor there. But, yes, you're telling me that due to AI, I might be able to hear... My girl, the OG Goku, Masako Nozawa, in English, but for not acting products projects. Now, what, what, what does that mean? That part's a bit confusing, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go over this article before we do hit that subscribe button. I'm a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, and, um... Yeah, look, I don't know where a lot of folks stand on AI, it's one of those very, uh, you know, contentious subjects. I'm personally all in. I'm all in on the AI train. I mean, yes, it's got to be used right. You don't sit there and make yourself a 32-page comic using only AI, try and sell it for 30 bucks, and act like it's real art. Like, yeah, no, that's dumb. But if you want to do that, go for it. Give it a shot. You'll get roasted into oblivion, and the free hand of the market will decide, and and, and you won't make any money. Uh, but in general, no. If they want to use AI for, for you, know, you know small projects, or if you're doing, again, I really like what Japan's been doing with the instant translation. Deep L, for example, is an AI translating uh, program that translates almost instantly, and it's got a 99% accuracy rate. Uh, so if we can start getting, you know, manga instant translated, which is what they're using it for, they're also using it for a lot of, like, interviews and whatnot, and it's got a 99% accuracy rate, and it doesn't have to go through the localization process of changing a bunch of shit uh, that we frankly don't want to see or don't want to change to because we want the authentic experience, then that's awesome. And then the idea that they're taking it even further, again, Japan's going all in on this AI train, but what, what does that mean? Uh, Anoi Production, one of Japan's most storied anime voice actor talent agencies, has announced a partnership with Kofont, a Tokyo-based tech company that describes itself as a global AI voice platform. Together, the two companies plan to create AI-generated versions of the voices of some of Oni's top talent, one of the first will be none other than Masako Nozawa, the voice of Dragon Ball Son Goku. Now, here's the dealio. They're making a good choice going with her first. You want to know why? Because she's 87 years old, and as much as it pains my little Dragon Ball-affiliated heart to say so, she ain't going to be in this game forever. I, I mean, I, I don't want to say the worst or whatnot. I don't want to even think about it, especially after, you know, losing Akira Toriyama this year. But even if she doesn't pass anytime soon, like, look... Maybe she should just end up retiring, because, again, she's 87, and she's been voicing Goku since, like, I think, ironically enough, 87, uh, which would be really cool if that was the case, now, now, now I'm thinking about it, but the point is, so if, if, if we're able to, uh, you know, get her voice um, AI-ified to uh, continue after she is done, and that's something that she agrees to and wishes to be done and is okay with, then... I think that'll be great as long as it can be done well. I know that Disney's been doing something similar in terms of, you know, using, like, the voice of James Earl Jones, for example, to be completely AI'd. And I was, uh, just a little bit iffy on that one because I don't think that Disney's doing it in an ethical way. Just, I, I, I won't lie, it's Disney. I'm sure they got some nefarious purposes behind it. But it's not because I'm against AI, it's because I'm, a, I'm against Disney. So, the plan isn't just to develop a system by which Nozawa's voice can be replicated to speak Japanese via AI, but also allow for the veteran voice actor's voice to be converted to speak other languages with English and Chinese specifically mentioned in the announcement. Now, this is not the first time we've heard of something like this. In fact, there's that video that blew up a while ago on X and on YouTube, if you guys didn't see, where someone had used AI to convert Hitler's voice to English. Like, like let's, let's be real. And you got to listen to a Hitler speech in the correct cadence, in his correct voice, but in English. And it was a really wild video that got a lot of people... It sort of changed a lot of people's perspective. Uh, maybe not changed their perspective on Hitler. We all still agree, homie was a bad dude. But, like, when you don't hear him, like, Nein, this is the Eichschleimer! Like, it does sort of change the way you, you perceive, uh, you know, what the speeches and rallies were like, you know, in, in Germany. So... It makes me wonder if we're going to see something different, but, uh, you know, for Dragon Ball instead of Nazi Germany, which would be really cool. Uh, the objective, Kofan says, is to allow for greater use of the voice of familiar anime performers and voice-related services. Now, 
voice related services. But what does that mean? Because the title says non acting projects. So what is a voice related service? Like if you're a voice actor, anytime you're in the booth recording something, you're voice acting. Like oh, you're recording for a commercial. Well, you're still voice acting. You're you're, you're in a video game. Oh, you're voice acting. Uh, what? So audio books? I mean. Couldn't they just hire you to read from the audiobook? I, I, I just, I don't understand it. With the company pointing to voice technological as, uh, assistants such as Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant Plus interactive robots, medical equipment and other devices, uh, devices with voice recognition navigation functions as potential applications. Okay, so that does explain a bit more. Uh, you, know, you know, things that are have voice recognition, um, you know, you know, technological tools that will recognize a voice. You can use this AI voice to speak to, ironically enough, these other AI machines. I, I doubt it'll stop there. Let's be real. That seems like a really limited capacity. And if that's the case, why are you starting with like anime voice actors? It doesn't seem like there's a lot of, uh, you know, co commercial use that can be advertised as such, like, like how that would be like, oh, hey, if you want to go to the hospital and, uh, you, know, you need to get some blood drawn, Goku's gonna talk to you to calm you down. That's really, really cool. Like, I would love that. As someone who's actually afraid of hospitals, it would also kind of work as canonically Goku's afraid of needles, but that's not what I was getting at. It's just a fun fact. But, um, you know, as somebody who is afraid of hospitals and, like, I've had to go to them recently for, for some things and whatnot, uh, if, if I had the voice of my hero there to sort of calm me down, speaking through some sort of, like, like electronic device or whatnot, uh, that would, that would be interesting. That would be cool, but it's such a novelty. I can't imagine it being worth the money that they would shell out. I can't imagine it being worth the development time. So when they say they're not going to use it for, for any sort of actual acting performance works, um, I'll be real, I don't buy it. Uh, of course, it's impossible to hear about a plan to use AI to recreate anime voice actors' voices without wondering that plan involves eliminating actual voice recording from the anime production process. Exactly. And that's what a lot of folks are worried about. Uh, Ani and Confident claim that is not their intent through asserting... We would like to clarify that we will not be providing this service for projects related to the field of acting, such as animation production or foreign language non-Japanese dubbing. We will only be developing multilingual AI purposes for projects and non-acting fields, properly differentiating the activities of AI voice technology and voice actors. And you know what? Even if this was being done in the field of acting, as long as the actor is okay with it, and frankly as long as they're being compensated because it is their voice... I wouldn't even give a shit then. It's just got to be good quality. And I think that we're getting to the point where that quality is honestly going to be there, if not now, very soon. Uh, however, that statement raises the question of what signifies as acting. You can make an argument that acting is limited to recording lines of a character dialogue to be combined with artwork for anime, TV episodes, or movies, and the non-narrative narration and voice guidance itself is a form of acting, which is what I was saying earlier. You, you know, you, you go into the booth to record for a commercial, that's acting. You know, you're doing an audiobook. That's a, if at any point you are doing a character voice and you're putting it, uh, you know, you're, you're in that booth and you're recording for some sort of project, you are are acting. Now, to what capacity is going to be different, but you're still doing so. Um, then there's the fact that the entire point of using a popular voice actor is the non-acting examples applications Koei Funt provides would obviously be that fans enjoy hearing the actor's voice. The fondness, though, comes from hearing characters the actor portrayed and infusing voice guidance and narration with these same qualities would once again require a certain amount of Acting, yes. I, I, again, I, I agree with that sentiment entirely. Uh, the plan to use AI-generated voices for languages adds another perspective to consider, and that it would supersede not only the original Japanese language performer from the non-acting voice work, but also the foreign language dubbing actor. Good! Good, that's not a problem whatsoever. If we could, look, if you gave me my way, and you're like, Leon, what, what's going on? What, what happened to Funimation? Fuck them! We just replaced every single one of them with AI versions of their Japanese counterparts speaking in perfect English. That would be ideal. You wanna know why? Because fuck the American dubbing industry. That's why. So, I wouldn't call this a problem at all. In fact, it seems like a problem that solves itself if they actually had the balls to implement it. But where were we? Essentially eliminating two jobs. There's also the question of how much demand there is among overseas anime fans for English language dialogue spoken of the Japanese voice actors. Let me tell you. The demand is probably there. Like, like, I know I'm but I'm but a humble weeb who is uh you know who, who loves the idea of hearing the Japanese cast in English for all of our favorite anime. Uh, but I also can't be alone in that. Even here in the West, there's that 
age old question of sub versus dub because people don't like the way the English sounds. I mean, e even even as English speakers, nine times out of ten, dubs are bad. We can hear that dubs are bad. We're watching it with the sub. However, we're watching it with the sub because it sounds more authentically Japanese in terms of the tone, the words being spoken, the, the, the way it's being handled, and we can read the subtitles and pick up on all that. Now, if you could get the exact same thing, but also hear it in your native language, but hear it in your native language properly acted with the correct tone, yeah, I, I think that there would absolutely be a market for that. Overseas anime enthusiasts who are also fans of Japanese voice actors got, uh, got that way by listening to them speak in Japanese. Not really, though. We got this way because we didn't want to hear the English. Um, again, in most instances, I, I, it really goes back and forth. Again, I actually do love the way Masako Nozawa portrays Goku, for example. Whether it's English or Japanese, I want to hear her voice because she is Goku. Goku's also a larger-than-life character that's you know, you know, forced his way into the public zeitgeist. Not every character is going to be Goku, so you're not really going to have that same mentality for every character. Um, and for anime fans who do desire the character to speak in English, there's a robust English anime dubbing industry with its own performers and fandom already in place that we can burn to the fucking ground for all I care. Minus Vic Mignogna and uh, Ruben Langdon, you, you, you two are safe. Uh, finally, it's hard to ignore that Oni, which was founded in 1969, is one of the oldest anime talent agencies and represents a number of veteran performers. Nozawa, for example, is 87 years old, and eventually she'll be unable to continue acting. Ordinarily, that would mean in the uh, that would mean the producers of Dragon Ball would, fa would face the task of having to recast Goku for the first time in the history of the franchise. We are talking about Goku has never been recast from the moment it debuted. Nozawa has been the voice. If you're telling me that through technological advancement. We have a way to make sure that Son Goku is never recast. I will take it. Having the means to use AI to make Goku continue speaking in Nozawa's voice, even if they can't have her in the recording studio, seems like it would be an intense temptation, even if the current pledge the technology won't be used that way. In addition to Nozawa, 75-year-old actor Banjo uh, Ginga, uh, who I looked up, by the way, also does a lot of stuff with Gundam, played Sagat in Street Fighter, um, King Vegeta in Dragon Ball, so yeah. Pretty good resume, uh, and eight other as of yet unnamed Oni production voice actors will make up the first batch of AI voices in the project. This to me sounds awesome. I know, again, AI is a touchy subject for a lot of folks. I think maybe most people make a bigger deal out of it than they should, but you know, that's just me. But, 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 you know, hear me out. I mean, we've just heard this sales pitch. It's right now, it's being used for non acting purposes. Right now, they're saying, hey, it's, it's going to be for, you know, you know, commercial use for things outside the realm of acting. That way, no jobs are being stolen. It's not infringing on the Western uh, you know, anime market as much as I want it to. But, man, when they, they get to that final example and what I posited earlier in the video about Nozawa's age, how can this be anything other than a W? I really don't see how this is bad. But, but again, I, I know I've got audience members that live in Japan. I know I've got viewers that are Japanese, so maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Because these are just my opinions. Some of yours in the comments below. And let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Ward. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about AI or the fate of the anime industry, but anime, movies, music, magic, the gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at words of paradise underscore Leon and become a member for four ninety nine a month. You can join the Discord, choose the articles I go over on a day to day basis, choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course, get in touch with over one hundred and thirty other vital idols. We are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity. Only one kind of diversity, diversity of thought. If that's interesting to you, join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.